What's up guys, it's just Shaker Beers and behind me is a 2018 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. Now, you probably have seen this thing around. You probably know exactly why I charge it because it's probably pulled you over at least 10 times if you're, if you're a speeder. Now, a little history about what a charger is. You probably have all remember the 1968 model with the tool door and that famous grill. Well, that wasn't actually the first one, surprisingly. The first one was built back earlier in the 60s, about 63, and it was just a two-door luxury car. I think it had a V8, it was just, it was just a car, little get-around car. Then Dodge, then the Mustang came about, and Camaro came about, and the Dodge like, whoa, we need to make a muscle car. So that's kind of what they did. Then they came with some other variations, which we'll talk about in other reviews. But this is the new 2018 version. They redid it back in, they brought it back after 17 years or no longer of discontinuing it. And it was pretty nice. And it looked back to the old model. And then they redid, redid it back in 2014, or 2015, with this look. And it was crazy stuff. Now, a little history of what a scat pack is. Scat pack means this car can do a quarter mile and, and 14 seconds flat within 14.9. It has to do it always. It's not a scat pack. Big difference between a scat pack and any other charger well, obviously the front end. And you get a 6.4 liter V8, which makes about 464 horsepower. 485. 45, which is a lot of power versus 375 you get with the 5.7. Now, you get lots of appearance packs and a bunch of other cool stuff, but the main difference is the bigger motor and it can go way faster. Now, I'm not me chit chatting. Let's do a walk around this thing. It's a cool thing. Love this aggressive front end. Now, when you get the scat pack, you don't get the regular look. We'll look at the We'll look in the future video, but look at this updated grill. No longer do you have that Dodge symbol. You have an aggressive front end with all the tail lights and all the scoops. Very aggressive. Now, cool thing about the Scat Pack, Dodge had to get rid of it back after a few years when they were first introducing it because of a legal issue. Turns out there was another company called Scat, and they were like, "Hey, you're using our company," and Dodge had to quit making it. Then. When Dodge brought this car back, they're like, Galuga said, hey, can we still use the engine? They're like, no, you can't use the engine. No, you can't use the name. Well, we're Dodge, we're gonna do it anyway. So that's what they did, they did it anyway, they're Dodge. Quack around this thing. Absolutely love, love the Astro G Scat Pack, love it. Now this is, isn't a Hellcat. Do not confuse this with a Hellcat. Hellcat's a way different car. Big Rambo brakes, love those big me. Look at the size of these wheels. Look at them. They're bigger than my head. Look at them. Beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful, love this new aggressive. Tell I love the look of it. Ooh, did you drive these out? Why they come like that? Oh, nice. Now let's look at the trunk space. How do you open? Love the spoiler on that thing. Look at that. Holy crap, that's a lot of space. Yeah, cute bomb subwoofer box, uh, 212s, power acoustics. Uh, running about 1500 watts right now. This yeah. is just the start of the build. Nice. The, uh, there'll be another amp, uh, probably two batteries back here. Nice. With the nitrous bottle, so. Nice, that's what we look for fun. Be careful when you do that. Of course. There's this guy who measured a Prius, blew up the model. Probably should nitrous. Yes, you should. It's all awesome. I'm getting a prelude and I'm going to be nitrous in it. <laughs> nice. All right. If you guys didn't know, this is the wonderful owner. Do you have, do you have an Instagram or anything like that? Uh, TJLSN95. Uh, Instagram. Catch me on that. I also forgot to mention about the army. He is also in the army. So I wanted to give a big, big thank you to him for his service. And if anybody else wants a biggest thank you, leave a comment below. And all right, let's get back to the review. Carbon fiber? Uh, just a vinyl overlay. Mm, that's nice. Ooh, pretty nice. Ooh, nice. Ooh, these seats are comfortable. Thank you. Nice. Tear sweet. All right. To turn this car on, this is portrait. It's a brand new car. Well, not brand new, but you know, pretty new. Let's fire the engine up. 
<laughs> oh my god look at that that's awesome let's see this motor right here yep let's see this motor oh my now I've driven the Challenger. When it started, it made a louder no it made a loud noise, but this is even louder. Uh, this is the This is the beautiful, the reason why you got this car, the 6.4 liter V8 making 478 horsepower. A lot of power, a lot of torque. Oh, this thing is a monster! Oh. All right, let's get inside to talk about the interior. Oh, nice. First thing I like about this, it's big. Thank you. I like how wide it is. Very spacious. Yeah. The problem I have with some cars is they're not big enough for me. Right. I'm I'm a big guy. I need lots of space, and this feels like a a muscle car. If it, it's what it should be. As it should be. Oh, I love the styling. Wow, this is, wow. Wow. This is very different from the Charger. No, Challenger, oh. Yeah, Big Challenger. difference between Challenger and Charger, doors. Right. Doors. Definitely doors. This is four door, so you can get your kids on while you're, floor, while you're going 79 miles an hour and quarter mile, or whatever this car can do. Right. So you got your different modes, different stuff. I pray for going over the FCA system, so he's gonna show me some Pacific so what specific of the charger if we're telling that we found? Uh specifically on this one as opposed to the RTs, you have your performance pages. Oh nice. Uh, this will load up. Oh nice. It takes a little bit. Now the charger challenger I did was an RT shaker and it had performance pages too. Okay. Oh, it's cool. So this one, this is just what I have on my home screen. That's uh, nice. Battery voltage, trans temp, air intake temp. Uh, nice. Big thing with these is keeping that heat down. Which is oh why yeah. I have the gold wrap on. Oh nice. Um, I don't have my timers logged right now. That's right. But this is what you can go uh, to check your timers if you want. You want your eighth mile, quarter mile, mm. uh, braking distance, and everything. Uh, again, trans temp, air intake temp, uh, oil pressure, battery voltage, coolant temp, oil temp. Nice. This is your G-Force screen, so you can track your G-Forces from stopping, left, right, and acceleration. Nice. Um, the engine, so blue is your oil pressure, mm -hmm. yellow is the torque, and red is the power, so it's live active, so you can check it while you're going down the road. That's nice. Uh, if you're at the track, anything, you can log all this. This is very different from your typical infotainment, FCA infotainment. Yeah, very different. Uh, and then this last screen. Again, power is in red and torque is in orange. Oh, nice. Up here in the top. And then this down here is your transmission so you can oh, see nice. what RPM you're at and what gear will come up in here. Oh, wow. That's, that's, that's really cool. Yep. Anything else specific about the Charger infotainment that's different? Um, Not that I know of. Not that I know of. I haven't uh, really drove a lot of the Challengers, so I'm not sure if the you big, guys have anything different or not. They do have a small difference. Okay. The big difference is they have slightly different look it's the same thing it's just a different look different right. way they do it gotcha. you still get the same stuff it's just instead of the, looking like this it has the picture of the car and then you can go through the pages and it will show you like a you know when you go through a drag ship gives you a little ticket right. and shows your time and it shows that okay it's it's, cool. it's it's real cool and then you have your cool sheets oh Stay. yes thank you the Alcantara suede I yeah love it. I love uh, very durable um, the other thing that this one does is you can see you have the adaptive cruise control here. And that's um, nice. With the LiDAR system. Which really is useful. So what I like about the Charger, not, not many people like it, but what I like about it, it's a sedan with a V8. Exactly. Where, where can you get that? You can't, you can't go to Ford. Ford won't give you a V8. With a sedan, you can't go to Ford. You can't go to Chevy. You can't yeah. go to Chevy. Unless you want to pay a 130 grand Cadillac, in that case, get something else. Now, well. not, not that Cadillac is not good, but... Do you really want when you're this is what like 80 90 grand whereas the Cadillacs are worth 130 40 50 they, they go up from there you can probably get one of these between you know high 30s to maybe low 50s dang yeah that's that's a deal right there yep. that's a deal and you get to four cylinder you know, four four doors pretty good nice it's, it's yep. you get you get it's what you get four liter engine air conditioning all the stuff yeah. and people are always worrying worried about like i'm worried about reliability get a warranty dodge gives you a big warranty it's true 
What's your, if you don't mind me asking, how long is your warranty for this thing? Uh, honestly, I'm not even sure. I know they extended mine out pretty good for me. That's uh, good. Yeah, shout so out to you... the Dodge dealership. They hooked me up pretty good. Which one? Uh, the one in Duluth. Dodge and Duluth. Oh, nice. I always go to Hayes for my Dodge purposes because they always give me the reviews. It's pretty okay. nice. All right, let's put the headband and drive this thing. All right, guys. Let's see what this thing can do. Nice. Okay. Sweet. So you just Yep, all the way down in the drive. Alright. Oh wow. Wow. Oh wow. Oh my. <laughs> oh my. First impression. You know what you're driving. <laughs> Absolutely. Wild cars I drive, it's you. They kind of they either hide their size or they, they feel like regular cars. This thing, it, it lets you know right away, yo, I'm a muscle car. Right. It lets you know right away. There's no denying it. Absolutely. Oh, man. But it is a... Man, I can't believe how massive this thing is. It's huge. <laughs> man, this is big. I like big things. It's one. That's one thing muscle car... That more muscle cars you can't find nowadays is something big like this. I mean, it's a muscle car. It should be big. You know what I mean? Right. Let's give it some gas. <laughs> oh, bam! That's a that's quick. Yeah. Man, man, that was that's no delay. Wow. 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 This is way different than the 5.7. Way different than the 5.7. It'll get up and go. It'll get away from me if you're not careful. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now, have you ever dragged this? text message from Brittany Pittman. Oh, okay. That's all right. He ever, uh, let's see. He ever dragged this car before? Uh, this one hasn't been on the strip just yet. Uh, I'm gonna wait until we get a tune for oh, it. Oh, yeah. Uh, just a tune whenever we get long tubes and the E85 kit. Man. probably take it to the track. Oh, yeah. A little bit more competitive. Oh, yeah. You need to. This thing's insane. Man, this thing really feels like an old 80s muscle car. Whereas other sport cars don't really feel like that. I've driven a four cylinder in a Mustang, and to me, it felt like a sport car. You know what I mean? Right. I'm sure the video will feel more muscle car, but to me, it all it's not just the engine the whole thing has to feel like a muscle car gotcha. man it, it really i love the way they dealt with this compared to the uh the challenge the challenger this is much bigger than the challenger it well it feels bigger you know what i mean i haven't drove a challenger yet um, oh you need to i got i have a buddy who can probably let you drive his it's a manual though i don't know if you can drive manual oh yeah for sure yeah i got this one i got a 94 50 Mustang. Oh, nice. Um, 92 Nissan 300ZX. Oh, nice. All those things. Uh, the Nissan's back in North Carolina. Oh, nice. Uh, the Mustang's out here with me right now. That's good. I, I'm in love with this thing. I love how big it is. Come on. <laughs> oh, this is addictive. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love that. I love that noise. I love that noise. It's it's funny. It's like you set off a volcano or something. You, it's it really is. It's it, it's quiet when you when you're not doing anything. And so when you when you punch it, it suddenly comes alive and you woke up the peace. There you go. It's it's just insane. I drove I drove Godzilla not too long ago, which is Nissan GTR, yep. and that thing is it's a monster. No matter where you are going, no matter where you're driving, it's a monster. No matter if you're going slow, it's comfortable, but you 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 know what it is. Right. What I like about this is, if you didn't know what a charger was and you just got in and rented it, you you would have no idea. This thing would literally surprise you when you punched it. Right. What's I love about it? It's such a very masculine car. That's what I like about these things. I love it. There aren't many masculine cars nowadays. There are a lot of there. 
there are a lot of girl cars, but a lot of cars are kind of like either or. This is 100% masculine, you know what I mean? Right. Not that a woman can't drive this, but I mean, all the interior, all the muscle, it's just, it's a, it's a true man's car. Now, I mean, people say, well, I need more space. Get a Durango. What I like about the Durango is it's pretty much an SUV, this, but an SUV form. Yeah. That's what I like about it. And if you want something you can drive to work, and I'm sure you drive this to work. Yeah. This is perfect. I mean, look at this. It's one. You got a lot of space. You still got a bunch of space up front. You still got space in the rear if you want to put people in the back. Yeah. I don't like the. the track. I don't like challengers. You can't fit people in the back. I'm sorry. I'm not getting back there. You know what I mean? My 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 friend who owns and who has this, he just puts his dog back there. Okay. He's a big dog. That's that's where he goes back there. You don't want you don't fit people back there or anything, and it's just it's an amazing. I'm reviewing a Hellcat not too, very soon. I I don't know if you need that much power. You know what I mean? It's good to have. Hmm. Where would you where would you use it? At the track. Yeah. That's what I made. Uh, Oh, I, I'm I'm in love with this engine. <laughs> I love how specifically with the Hemming, it feels like a beast. It, right. it unlike other engines, they they sound very mechanical. This feels like there's an animal in there. You know what I mean? Right. No, many engine. I don't think I don't think any car engine sounds like an animal. Some not so much. A, Ferraris and Lamborghinis, they sound like a pretty much come get me cop. Yeah. I, mean, I like this. This one is pretty much uh, just a muffler delete as of right now. Oh yeah. And you're gonna be tuning this thing, nitroing this thing. I mean, why not? This thing is insane. This hey, it might get nitrous, maybe. Uh, definitely gonna get the 85 conversion. Oh yeah. Um, and a tune for sure. Oh yeah, definitely. And oh yeah. Now, for those who don't know what E85 means, E85 is a type of fuel that is. 85% ethanol and 50% gasoline. It's more richer and it's more fast paced. And normal modern cars don't have these, but you can convert. You can get a kit for lots of cars like this one, and you can put the you can put the other and can make it much more faster. The reason I didn't say mention this in, in the video was because I didn't know what it was. I thought it was 85, like the when you go to the stash station, you either pick 83, 85, 93. I didn't know that, but I look, but I do know now because I look, because I watched the video that explained about it. And this is really cool. So I, I, I don't know if how much horsepower you're gonna get from this, but that's, all right. Back to the review. So I got mine already set. So mm -hmm. right now, wait for it, and now you're in some <laughs> I love this engine. Oh. It's so easy to drive. I love them. People are so afraid of this kind of, this vehicle. I'm not. This thing is very easy to drive. It's a lot of power, but you can easily get used to it. You know what I mean? You can easily know what the car's gonna do. Right. Whereas other cars, it's like, okay, where are you gonna go? Because the God Godzilla is so fast, but a lot, but what's a lot, but if you didn't have all those special electronics to, you know, keep it on the road, you would easily spin out. Right. Now, does this thing rear wheel or all wheel? This one is rear wheel drive. That's nice. And you can't get that anymore. You ever burn, you ever done a burn down this thing? Oh yeah, all the time. Oh. Uh, try not to now. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I get tires for this thing. Oh yeah, don't worry. I don't do burnouts and stuff like that. Just knowing it can do is really cool. Oh, for sure, all day long. So that's what I love about this day, thing. It's a long. four door sedan with you can get a V8. It's a muscle car and it can do burnouts. Where can you get that? A car that gives you burnouts that you can have four people in. You can have your kiddos and you can have, I'm sure you're, you, you married or. Nope, not married, no kids. But what I like about this, when you do have kids, when you do get married, you don't have to sell this thing. You know why? You have room. You fit a car seat back there. All right. That's what I love about this thing. All right. It's such a practical car and still an amazing machine. That's what I love about these things. Hemi's are to, to me my one well, of my favorite engines. They're my, they're my go. They're kind of like my sweet spot. You know what I mean? Right. That's so that unique noise you don't get from any other engine. It's just it, that's all about Hemi's. When I was at the auto show, my one well, of my favorite cars was the RT 
Durango. Mainly because I was driving V6s, four cylinders all day. Then I finally got myself a V8 and you have no idea how happy a Hemi can make a boy. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just a Hemi just puts that, you, that smile on your face. Not, not many engines can do. I, I love, I love the Hemis. I want to get one one day. Not sure which one though. I just want a Hemi. I don't care what it is. As long as it has a Hemi, I'm happy. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're all great engines. Now the engine that's in the new Ram, is that a fuck? The 5.7, is that the same engine that's in the Chargers and Challengers or is it modified? So I believe the ones that are in the trucks, the mm. 1500 Sports, mm. are those are the 5.7s, the mm. same as the RTs. Nice. And you get into the Durango 392s, they have obviously the 392 engine. Nice. Track Hawks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like that. That's what I like about those that. Are 6.2s. Well, like what I love about Dodge, which I didn't really know until I started driving them, they are a muscle car brand. Unlike other brands, they are 100% dedicated to making fun muscle car vehicles, putting, making something muscle in anything they do. That's what I like about it. Muscle car SUV, muscle car sedan, muscle car sport, muscle, anything they can make muscly, they do, and that's what I love about that. Right. The, you can get a. That's just to me, Jeep had the balls to put a Hellcat engine in an SUV. Who does that? Dodge. Dodge. That's that's who that who does. That's who does. That's who does it. That's what I love about it. Did you know that the whole the whole scat black thing, there was they were all worried about the whole uh, license issue. They the the court said no to them. They did it anyway. They put the scat back anyway. They didn't care about legal, they're gonna put it there because that's what they do. They're Dodge. That's what I love about Dodge. They don't care who they, they don't care what it is as long as it has a big engine, rear wheel drive, and just fun to drive. That's all they, that's what their main focus is. Fun. That's what I like about them. Are they unreliable? Yeah, some are, but just get a warranty. As long as you have a warranty, you can, you can have fun all day. He's got a warranty and he drives this thing every single day. I would. Luckily, we haven't had any issues out of this. Oh, yeah. All my friends that have chargers or... Oh, yeah. And no, no issues so yeah. far. My buddy has a 2016 Challenger, and he's only had two issues. The dealer fixed it. Boom. There you go. That's all he had. That's what I love about this thing. Your FCA have really changed Dodge, and they've not only have they made them fun to drive, what they originally were, but reliable. You know what they did? They put some life. They put some Italian engineering in some of their cars. Right. This infotainment screen, in my opinion, is one of the best infotainment screen you can get on the market. It's just it's just one of the best. Yep. That's what I love about this thing. It's FCA just makes fantastic machines. They just they just do. My favorite truck is well besides the F one fifty because I'm a Ford fan is the Ram 1500. I would buy that truck. If I was looking for a truck, I would buy that truck. Why? Because it's the perfect truck. It's a Hemi, and it's a, all those, and it's a Mercedes. That's right, you hear me right. The Ram 1500 is part Mercedes. How much Mercedes? I don't know. But, a lot, but not only that truck, but a lot of other vehicles is also part Mercedes. Why? Because Dodge didn't, well, not Dodge, FCA didn't really have a little, didn't really know how to make really good, some of the parts they didn't know how to make of SUV or anything like that. So what they do with the team that were Mercedes, like, hey, can we uh, borrow some of your chassis and blah, blah, blah. And that's what they did. Now, not all of it is Mercedes. All of it is FCA. They did make their own. Like, the Hemi is 100% Dodge. It is 100% American. The Merce all the trim. All I believe the infotainment was de is developed by FCA themselves, not by Mercedes, unlike the Aston Martin DB11. And... I think that's it in terms of that. Oh, yeah, the chassis. The Jeep Cherokee and the RT are both made on a Mercedes ML, which you, what you've heard about from Dodge themselves, which is really, which I was surprised to hear. And also the keys. A lot of the keys, are, except for except for some Dodge, a lot of Dodges, or Mercedes keys. They didn't know how to make a push star at the time, so they stand up with Mercedes, and that's kind of what they did. So a lot of the keys are pretty much just rebadged Mercedes keys, but hey, at least, at least you get modern technology. All right, back to the view. It's I, it's more of, it does, it's not abrupt. It 
it's loud but it's not really it doesn't go that fast that quickly it revs up for a little bit but you're not going too fast unless you really get into it this thing slams you and keeps on going and does not stop <laughs> That's what I love about this thing. That 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 extra horsepower really really helps. And that was just a couple modifications to a 570. Get those things really fast. Oh, well. oh yeah. And what's cool about this engine, it's just it's such a I love that instant torque. And it, and that's amazing because this is rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive. Rear wheel drive aren't good at really putting track putting a lot of power to the wheels. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? get them to hook up they're pretty good mm. well, like about this it's almost like an it's almost like an all-wheel drive i just this is almost as good as godzilla almost as good in terms of power maybe not that good i've drove a gcr before i think ben you probably giving me a little more credit than i deserve right now <laughs> i just love hemis <laughs> all right the gcr i love the gcr it's fast but it's like 150 grand where this is again 40 and it's fun and you can easily get like a thousand horsepower out of these things. Maybe not this one. Now, can you can you put a supercharger on, on the 6.4 or do you have to do that to the 6.2? Uh, you can supercharge the 6.4s, uh, but it's recommended that you change the pistons out. You don't want to burn your pistons out. Oh, yeah. So if you do it just to be safe, to have a good power plant, good power base, mm -hmm. go with forge bottom in. And you can supercharge it all day long. Mm -hmm. As long as your transmission holds up, mm -hmm. you're good. I like how the corny on this thing. It's a big machine, but a corner's like it's a. It's a. It, it corners pretty good for what it is. The corner a little bit better than a lot of people give them credit. Yeah. Credit for. People call these boats. It doesn't feel like a boat. It feels like a muscle car. And people are like, oh, I don't really want it because it's like it's a boat. I'm mean, like, so you don't like muscle cars that old vintage muscle cars? No, I do. Those feel like the same thing. Does it? Does it? Does your Mustang feel very? big and heavy like this uh no that one's pretty light oh wow that mustang's pretty light oh wow but still the old charger all challenger they were big they were heavy but they were fun right that's what that's what a muscle car is and yes it's heavy but it's fun that's what i like about this thing and this <laughs> oh i can do this all day <laughs> You probably floor. I can guess by driving this thing. You probably floor us a lot just because it's so addictive. Uh, probably when I first got it, but the gas mileage once you get to playing around, you learn to be easy real quick. Oh wow! Oh yeah, forty-three miles. Oh god! Wow. It's so much fun though. You know what I mean? It's such an addictive car. Now I'm guessing you get a lot of it. You get some attention when you're driving this thing. Yeah, a little bit. I like I like the RT's look mainly because it's not as aggressive. It's more it looks like a cop car. It's not really mount modernizes. This thing draws probably more attention from people, but hey, it's fun. I like the look of it better. Right. I love that open grill. Man. Luckily you got a gas station near here. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're not gonna run out of gas anytime soon. That's good. Oh man. This is so much fun. Thanks so much from TJ. I mean, this, this car is insane. I've, I've, I appreciate it, man. Thank I've, you. I've enjoyed this. I can't wait to you two in this thing. Oh, I'm enjoying this thing. All right, guys. I don't want to burn this guy's gas too much. Let's floor it one more time. <laughs> I love this machine. <laughs> oh, man, I can't get tired of that. That is so addictive. And loud too. I love the noise of this thing. Uh, thanks so much, man. I, I've I've enjoyed this car. No problem, man. Yeah, I'm going to screen right. I'm going to do the RT. Cool. Man, this thing is amazing. I've driven lots of cars, and this to me it's one it's one it's one of my favorites. I love the Charger. Appreciate it, man. And it's it, it's just it's such an aggressive, fun car to drive. That's four doors. Right. People don't like it because it's not a monster car. What's not muscle about this? Okay, that's four doors. Hello, the Impala, the Bu Buick Regal GS, all those cars, four doors, four doors. Yeah. Let's see, it's such a big car. All right. All right. 
Alright guys, like I said, thanks so much to TJ Lucas for allowing me driving his beautiful 2019 Charger R Scat R RT well, I, well, I guess it's SRT RT they're now called RT because of the Hellcat, but this one still says RT SRT, which so it's where you want to call it. It's a scat pack. I loved it. It was fun. So thank you so much, TJ Lucas. Like, like I said before, you are. I want to say th thank you so much for your share for being in the army, and thanks. So and now for the honest review, I absolutely love this car, which is kind of obvious. It's a Hemi. It's 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 a must. It's a Hemi. It's four doors, and you can, and it's fun to drive. I mean, what 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 more could could you ask for? It's it's such an amazing car. Well, maybe a better gas mileage. That's that's one thing this car needs. I absolutely love the car, but the only big major downside to the, to the to specifically the scat pack is the gas. This ca this car gets eleven miles per gallon. That's pretty bad. That's like G that's like supercar bad. I mean, I understand for like supercar, but this is like something you can daily drive. This is. To me, that's why I don't want to get one right now. I really like the car. The engine's fantastic. It gets up and goes. It, it really feels like a dragster. So, if you're going to get this car, no, you can't really... If you're going to drive it every day, you can't really drive it the way you want to. Otherwise, you're going to be paying lots of money and gas. But if you're going to use this for a dragster or making that project, this is a perfect car for that. It's It, it really... The way they tune the engine and the transmission, when you step on it, it really jolts up like a dragster at any given moment. That's what I love about this thing. Not many cars give that jolt, especially big, heavy muscle cars. The old ones, too, if you tune them just right, but that's tuning. This is a stock car that gives you that feel, and that, I just I love that. So I highly recommend this vehicle to anyone who wants a... A 100% drag car feel, and you don't want to spend any grand on a Hellcat. Trust me, they're expensive. But if you have the money to get a Hellcat, get a Hellcat. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be more gas, cost more gas, but so does this Scat Pack. And you have if you have the money, get a Hellcat. I'm gonna be running a Hellcat myself soon to see what that one's like. But really, if unless you don't, unless you can't afford a Hellcat, get get a Scat Pack. Scat Pack, it's it's a, it's a wonderful machine, but don't get it for a daily driver. Do not. I'm glad he does. I'm glad he. But like he said, he can't drive the way he wants you. I don't. I can't. I won't. If I had that, I would want to floor all the time. And I would feel like this is the whole reason I got this car. It was to have fun. Floor every. every not every chance to get before. Have fun to floor it when I really feel like it. And stuff like that. Where this car, you can't drive it the way you want to. And I, that's one thing I don't like about that. Chrysler needs to do something to the gas mileage. Maybe put like a small little, maybe not a 100% hyper, but something to give it just a little bit better gas mileage. Not one. Do not ruin the the muscle car formula, Chrysler. Put so, don't make it. Well, do kind of what you did with the Ram 1500. The Ram 1500 was cool about that vehicle, and you can put, uh, you can get one with a battery, so it's technically a hybrid, but it doesn't really function as give you better mileage, it just gives you better gas mileage. Which kinda what you we were saying, wait, doesn't that doesn't give better mileage get but isn't that the same thing? Not exactly for this one. The way this is tuned, unlike a hybrid where a hybrid literally it at it runs the it like runs the car, this motor kinda helps out the engine. It get it makes the engine more efficiency. I don't know how exactly it works. I just know it does and it's really useful. So what Chrysler needs to do is use that similar to for their next generation charger, use that high that battery and put it in the charger because right now the scat pack it's it's just pretty bad unless you want a drag unless you're just buying for a dragster like some people do don't get this car it's a, i love the car but don't get it for every day but i do enjoy the vehicle it's a fantastic car to run. if you do want to buy this car because well we, if you want to buy it go to Hayes. Hayes right now will give you the big deal on them because because 2020s are coming in, and you can get 2019 for about 40 grand. They don't have any right now. I've already talked to her. But if you, she said, if you go to her and order one, she can give you about, I want to say, three to five grand, depending on the car, depending on who you are, or and other things. But you, she'll give you a good discount. 
All you gotta do is give, give, just say, just Jake sent you, and you'll get a big discount. I mean, this is a fantastic muscle car, and if you can get one of these, get one. It's a, it's a good car. You can have, well, like, your daily drive, you can have your import, or Japanese, like a Corolla, or something like that, as your daily driver, and have this for fun weekends. I mean, that's what I would do with this car. Oh, well, yeah. That's it for the honest review. I really like the car. In terms of what it compares to, there's nothing else that it compares to. That's what I like about this car. There's nothing else like it. But I do. Do I want a charger? Absolutely. I want a charger so bad. It's such a fun. It's such. It's it's four doors with a V8. What more could you want? Just don't. But I'm not gonna get the six four because well, I can't. I can't afford that expensive gas. That's that's just me. If you can, go for it. But. I can. So that's it for this video. Be sure to like, subscribe for more honest reviews, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.